are back. Hey guys. Here. How is everybody? We got one more. We got one more. Still we gained one. Oh uh, yeah, Eileen is still <laughs> contagious, so they're gonna <laughs> stay their ass home. A little note, completely unrelated. Don't get arrested. That's all I'm gonna Oop. say. No context, no nothing. Just don't get arrested. We had a tornado. Um, Wait, did that happen? Or, like, oh, oh my god, yeah. the fucking tornado. We had a tornado. Let's bring up the tornado. It, did we you feel private. anything? I definitely didn't feel anything. I, I just heard the alarms. Or yeah. were you living close to it? Where was it? Cranston, I think. Johnston? Yeah, Johnston. It, yeah. I saw a video. I saw it at work. Like that's crazy. I didn't think it was an actual tornado. I think people were just like gassed. It. I thought you know, it was more like have, hurricane-y. Do huh? you see the video though? Yeah. No, yeah, that's true. I, I saw, see, I saw a video. You d- but like, did you not believe it? <laughs> no, I'm just like, like that's oh, crazy. <laughs> like, did it form from the sky? What? What do you mean? Because that's how tornadoes form from the sky. That's an actual tornado. If it was from like the ground up, there was a little whirlwind. Like that's not a fucking tornado. No, it was definitely a tornado. There's like a it was like. Going off. Like the alarms yeah. that we have. I didn't even know we had fucking tornado alarms. Yeah. That shit is crazy. But That's- did you, so no one felt anything? Yeah, no, I was sound asleep. Was there a lot of damage? I, I think, think so. some house, shit some got houses, fucked up. Yeah. yeah. To some when houses. Did, did but it, it wasn't like lives lost. No, no, I don't think so. Okay. At least yeah. that was that's scary though. I would have never thought Not Rhode yet. Island. That's one of the reasons I really like Rhode Island is because we get like regular fucking weather. Mm-hmm. Like, like we don't get earthquakes. We don't get tornadoes. We don't get like we get yeah. a hurricane here and there, but like nothing crazy. Yeah. Let's keep it that way. And like <laughs> then after. Callie had like a hurricane. Oh which yeah, it wasn't yeah. Out. It was, it was from what I heard, it wasn't like anything crazy. It just rained. Oh no, it didn't. I think it was. A it tropical. is supposed to be crazy. Is what it mean? happening or it happened? Already? It, happened it happened already. But it was like crazy, no? People I mean, on, the shit that was I on like, was just like the fact that it was. That it was a hurricane. Happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was seeing on like, TikTok, people were like, get ready bad. for me for the hurricane. And like, they were getting dressed up and like going shopping and shit. And it's just dressed like, these up. niggas were not um, taking the, this shit seriously. Serious. I they mean, like, and rightfully so, because it wasn't even that like aggressive. It was just like heavy rain. Leave and it. Shit. Leave it to California to like monetize um, <laughs> right. uh, like, a tr- like a world event or something. Get I mean, that's me. everybody, but. It's crazy. You know, that tornado show was crazy, though. No? I'm not excited for winter. Like I, I kind, I'm excited to like be indoors and like miss school on like snow days and all that shit. But like that actual like having to layer up and then yeah, walk in the it. snow, the like process. the texture of slushy snow, the look of it alone fucking <laughs> disgusts me. But like the to ah, uh, like when it gets dirty and shit, like I hate snow, but you don't like layering up. I hate mean. It. Hate it. I hate it. <laughs> and I'm one of those that if I don't lay her up, I will get sick. Yeah. So it's like if I don't do it well enough, yeah. fucking hate it. I just get like too hot. And, Having, like and then sticky. you got to go places. You're taking these layers off. Right. You got to carry it around. True. I don't understand. I hate when people be like, I love it because you get to dress better. How? That's how I feel about the fall. Because I feel like you can't really show shit off because you layered up because it's fucking 20 degrees outside. Now, I feel like people who lay... Sorry, Irene. No, I was going to say fall, I think, is perfect for layering. Winter time, like straight up when it's snowing, is really like... You you get stuck with the same outfits, like for the most part, because like you need to stay warm and shit. Mm-hmm. Or maybe, you know, niggas just ain't fashionable like that. The puffy but, jacket. Yeah. yeah. The winter. But like boots. fall time, I think, is like a really good thing. Summertime and fall in general are just good for fashion. Winter time is just like, eh. Yeah. So yeah, you just get like days, depression and whatever. Rainy days during the summer, you get to like yeah. wear some sweaters sometimes, some yeah. hoodies. I love that shit. It's a vibe. But um, fall is just very like. I don't know. The vibes are pretty immaculate. Oh my god, Jet is making it a habit of like scratching the door on camera. That that's his little cameo every episode. He's gonna start. The way you're, it's like she wants. She wants to bleed on my beanbag. Bleed like she's hitting him. <laughs> He'll scratch the shit out of you. <coughs> um. He's has in the past. Yeah. Oh. Um. Do y'all get depressed in the winter time? One hundred percent. Yeah. Every season. 
I like. <laughs> he's just in a constant state like, of misery. It is. Like, I think it's a twenty four seven. Who said it was only one? Um, <laughs> it's winter all the time. In I, my I head. wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't go as far as say like. Are I you guess, like the I'm blues? Like, I yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. get the blues. Like I fucking hate the cold. I hate gloomy days. I hate like I thrive in sunlight and like nights. Like I don't want to be in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> like I fucking hate just cloudy days. Even if it's summertime, like cloudy days in general, like. Can't relate. <laughs> I've you like cloudy sick. No, I could uh, enjoy a little rainy day yeah, every now and every then, now but and like then. for the most part, I really like like Cali weather. That like every day agree. sunny, like love it. So I um, I get a little blues. Yeah, the, the, the I get a little blues, but also like I like when everybody is forced to like stay inside because then it's like oh we're all doing the same shit. Like you're not missing out on anything. <laughs> like, I'm not missing out on anything. It's like yeah. selfish, but I'm like, we're all in, indoors right now. Girl, I used to be outside a couple winters winters ago. Used like, to be. no, now I will. I don't like. I'm not going out this winter. That's crazy to be outside in the winter time. It's a bit much right now. I used Brittle to bones. though with dresses, <laughs> like tweaking out. Yes, dresses. me and the gang <laughs> in the fucking winter time. I don't know what the fuck we was thinking. And now I wouldn't dare to even think about that shit. Like, girl. So like in high school? Slow, huh? Ah. Like in no, high no, school? No, no, no. Like two years ago, like when I first started going out. <laughs> Eat um, me pizza. This is crazy. Do you guys like hiking? No. I've actually never like really been on a really real hike, but I would love to go on one. I like nature. Like yeah. I like, I'm like go with cardio. I can do cardio. That's crazy. Cardio. I always get shin splints, but I like you hiking. What? Yeah, shin what? Splints. What is that? Shin splints. It's like when the front of is your there? shin starts like fucking hurting. Like it feels tight. Y'all, y'all don't get that. Like a cramp. On in your shin, but like oh. constant. And if you don't treat it properly, like you, it could like hurt you enough to where you can't run again. It's oh, weird. Wow. Yeah. I mean, who needs to oh, run? Oh. I mean, I want to. I like running, but anyway, hiking. Yeah, I Have like you short cut. Short. Short. I like short heights. I like short hikes mm -hmm. like anything less than four miles no four miles is good anything more i'm like get me the fuck out of here mm. mm -hmm. i don't think i've been on a real hike. i do it though yeah no um jay do you do it a lot do, do you know places often. i don't know places oh. in providence uh, I or? Just, it's because i went to uh i went to acadia in maine Arcadia? and i was Ooh. it was an it's like the closest national park to us i think oh. yeah um, and I did like a hike there and it was, it was pretty nice. It was like on the coast, the, like the coastline, like you could see like the, what is it? The Atlantic. Yeah. You could see the Atlantic. Oh, uh, wow. it was nice. It was like a mixture of like being in like, like a mixture of like the coast plus like being your water plus like mm. the, like the woods. You got everything in that bitch. Yeah. And it was like, there was like elevation. Like there was like some points where I had to climb down a fucking rock wall. I know, like too yeah. extreme. Where yeah, I had... see, I I need some time before I get to that. No, 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 no. But it's yeah. not like I was like fucking my Freak. hands just like uh, <laughs> <Freak>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like it was like, like like dangling over like a uh, hundred no. foot drop. Like. <laughs> but it was it was fun though. It's it's yeah, it was fun. Um, That's cool. I would go again. Not especially national parks. The the thing is that they're just the the like the views from like certain points are just really nice. Mm. Mm. And like I was at the very tippity top tippity of top. Acadia, and it was I'm pretty sure if I read it right on Google, uh, it's like the point in the United States, in the United States, where you could see the sun rise. Like it, like it's Maine is like the first. Like from that point, you see the sun rise first than anybody else oh, well, in like the U.S. Fun. Sounds really nice. Yeah. No, I mean, did I you was take a lot of pictures. What did you take a lot of pictures? It's like a decent amount. Yeah. Are you going to post uh, any? I want to see them uh, I later. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jay, I want to see them later. Uh, I'm going to ask Jay to later. submit a photo so we could post it on the Green Room Pod underscore five Instagram account. I was shaking my head. No, I'm not. Do y'all like the sun or moon more? The moon. I have a birthmark on my leg that looks like the markings on the moon. Mm -hmm. So the moon. I like with the moon. I like nighttime in general. I like nighttime. It's a vibe. <laughs> Though there are moments where I'm like getting hit by like the sun, feels so good, and I just want to like sleep. Mm. And it feels really nice. Like yeah. on the beach, sometimes I'm like, "Yo, the sun is I, beaming in my fucking." Taking oh my. a nap on the beach or like 
just like on a when it's hot as shit and mm-hmm. uh, or even like um at a park or whatever that shit's great i'm not gonna lie i don't like the beach yeah i don't like it know. either i don't he like sand. the sand between his cheeks yeah I'm he like hates sand. the sand between his balls i love pools i can't swim so as long as i could dip my <laughs> fucking toes in and just you can't swim i learned how to no. swim this summer that's no. my this summer I don't that's know. my red flag i've tried so many times you should just, learn how to yeah. swim Feel like that's you wouldn't know because you were never there. So a necessity in life. It's <laughs> a necessity in life. Like I try, it just I don't know what it is. I should just does not click in. Me. Like I, I think you so should try harder. Time. I think you can. Bro, try I really be trying. I believe like you. each time the water hits here, I start freaking out, and then I'm like, I fine. think for your birthday, I'm gonna buy you like a like, like a lessons. class at yeah, the YMCA. Lessons. Yeah, like literally like a set of Bro, classes. Like, teach me how to swim, bitch. So you can swim. Learn. Swim, swim. I can swim. No, I know. I need to learn. I need to learn. <laughs> Bro, tell me why. I've been working at this job for six years or about to be six years. <laughs> and not I'm not gonna like ugh. it's been six years. That's it's been crazy. Six years. Since Damn, how old? Damn. Junior year. I think I started. Oh wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wait, junior, <laughs> senior. Freshman, but I'm sure you can year. find a job that works with I your schedule. I have not held on a job for more than a year and a half. It's a great experience. <laughs> like it's it's gonna look real good on resumes and shit. But it definitely does. Like I'm just getting annoyed. I'm getting bored. Even I'm though getting, that has nothing to do with what you want to do, but <laughs> it has nothing to do with what I want to do. But I can hold on a job. Like yeah, I quit definitely. for a couple months. Like two months and then I went back. <laughs> um, said, Bitch, I can't do this Uber shit no more. <laughs> no, yeah, DoorDash. Cause like DoorDash. DoorDash really lied to me. They were like, they reel you in with like doing like promotion shit. Mm-hmm. Like they were like, oh, if you deliver five orders within a week, like you get two hundred dollars. And which I thought, is crazy, DoorDash. That's why I want to do DoorDash because that shit was the promotions were crazy good. Yeah, but like they would be one in few every couple mm-hmm. of months and. For the most part, it's just wasting your fucking gas. But, uh, yeah, I need a new job. But after, like, before I graduate, I can't do anything else. After six years, you learn a couple tricks, bro. My boss was working with me today. I, I'm not gonna tell the story. Should I tell the story or, or like, she, she ain't gonna watch my shit. Get that shit out your system. I don't know. Just like annoying stuff. I could like explain everything in detail, but I'd have to explain how the whole nursing home thing works, and it's just. I don't feel like doing that, but um, not that anybody's interested. Like, <laughs> who wants to know what old people are doing in a nursing home? I'm going to just no, say not annoying. much. They're not doing much. They play bingo every day of the week without fail. That's um, so We have sad. entertainment sometimes. Very, very rare. But yeah, like. Yeah, what? Com- huh? That's the entertainment? Bingo? No, yeah, no, no. no. It- the, the entertainment is like, pe- like people come and sing. You dance? I don't dance. <laughs> I do not be dancing. You fucking go start break dancing for that. No. <laughs> I mean, like, your head I mean, like, when I when I first started fucking working, I would definitely put in the energy to like you know present myself as like oh he got a lot of energy. Like I would like dance with the residents. Like I would grab their hands and start moving and shit. Oh. Now, bro, you're lucky if I'm in the room for more than five minutes at a time. I'd be going from like. <laughs> I mean, they, do, they touch you and you're like, no, not even like because of the old people. I just like, I don't, I hate when people start asking me for shit. Like, I like, listen, listen, listen. Like, Where's the old job. people or the co- your co Everybody in general. I just want to clarify. <laughs> like, that's your job. I just, <laughs> right. hey, can I have a glass of water? No. Hey, I just, no. <laughs> no. I just want to clarify yeah. that in general, I, care for them like very well like i love everyone who like i interact with because uh there are some residents who are like non-verbal so i can't really do anything with them uh oh is this like hippo i'm not saying any names or anything yeah as long as you don't say names you're fine yeah so um i'm not trying to get like uh not that my boss would ever watch this unless somebody you're not a doctor right i'm not a doctor bitch i'm a i'm I'm an activity aid like i do bingo and rosary like nobody gives a fuck (laughs) Well, essentials. <laughs> essentials. Like we're bro, you know during COVID, like we were considered essential workers. I'm like, where I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, you, you were taking were, care you were of older saying, folks. Yeah. Taking care of old people. You had to like I guess. it was still health care. But point is, I do care for them. Don't get me wrong. Like when I'm there, obviously, like I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, treat like, them with a lot of respect. I feel like we respect them actually more than like we meaning my coworkers respect the residents more than like 
nurses and CNAs and stuff, but there are a cherry picked few who are, who get on my nerves. I'm not going to name any names, but there's one lady who's just like, so the, her grandkids and her children hate her. Like they literally, Damn. they don't like her because she's miserable. She's just like, whenever I walk past her room, she's like, Dan, I keep walking. Because I've learned that every time you stop and you go, no, because 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 she's like the, she's like the boy who cried wolf, right? Like it's she's if you stop every time, she's always gonna have a problem. Like um, when I used to stop, it was always like she would start telling me about how she needed me to like check her oxygen tank to see if she had enough, and obviously I'm gonna check her oxygen tank. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Obviously, I'm going to check her oxygen tank. But you know what she would do is I would I would be like, oh, you want me to check your oxygen tank? She'd be like, she turns it off. (laughs) No, no, no. She honestly, she'd be the type. She loves attention. But anyway, um, I'd I'd be like, oh, you want me to change your oxygen and or like check your oxygen? She'd be like, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm. I'm talking, I'm talking about, and it's not even dementia because she, she has her brain. Like she's one of the very few residents who has her brain. She just wants to make your life hard. Even, even if I'm talking all this shit, just know I never snap at work unless it's like at like family members who are just because you, I know you got your fucking head. So why are you, why are you acting stupid? You know what I mean? Like the family members, I'd be, I'd be like calming the fuck down. Oh my God. Speaking of, okay. Sorry, have I been talking for too long? Y'all want to say something? No, go ahead. Bro, sorry. I'm just real fucking frustrated. So there's this guy at my job. Um, he's like five, five, bald, got no wife. He works as a cashier um, for like a pet store. He is like in his 50s, got nothing going for him. He has a obviously a mother there um, who she's also kind of crazy. Like if she doesn't sit in a specific chair, she will like make it a thing where she'll start crying and she'll like make it everybody else's problem and just be like annoying as fuck. Right. So, um, this all goes back to like Super Bowl time. Um, some of the, some of the men were in like the, the day room and I had put on the, the game for them cause they had asked, And one of the residents was telling me about how, like, you know, like as a kid, him and his daughter would like, you know, play football and stuff. And like he was reminiscing and he was like talking to me, which he usually doesn't talk. And so I was like, oh, like this is good for him. Like watching this shit is good for him. Um, And then the the son and like the mother come and she sits down and I guess she tells her son like, oh, I don't want to watch this. And he goes, tells the nurse and I I was sitting down watching it with them because I was kind of invested. Um. He like goes to the nurse and then out of nowhere, the nurse comes and just turns off the TV. And like the men were just like, and I was like, um, we were all watching that to like the nurse. And um, she was like, oh, like, let me just put on some music. Who doesn't want to watch that? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, does pay for like your your bill? Like, does she pay your check? Like, does she own the, the nursing home type shit? Um, and she was like, that's not very nice. And I was like, yeah, neither, neither is turning off the TV when these guys were watching it. Um, and then like the, she was like, well, I'm just following like, um, a guest like request. And I was like, I looked at him, he looks at me and I'm like, I'm going to go take my break. And I just like leave. Um, and then since then has not liked me two examples that I can think of from the top of my head. And then I'm going to shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. His mom, it was like lunchtime. She didn't like her food. She wanted a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Didn't let anyone know. She just didn't eat her food. We were like, oh, do you want something? She was like, no, whatever. Her son gets there. She's like, oh, he's like, oh, like, did you eat? She's like, no, um, I wanted a PB&J. And she goes to my boss and says, my mother wanted a PB&J and Dan didn't give it to her. What the fuck do I have to do? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, we were there were three people working in that fucking dining room. Like, how, what do you mean? You weren't there to even know that I was the one to interact with your mom. And then Crazy. I was like, what the fuck? Like, my boss told me that. And I walked up to him and I'm like, hey, like, do we have a like, are we OK? Because like your grandma didn't tell me she wanted anything. And if she did, like, I would have gone in for her as soon as possible. Like, she just needs to c- communicate that with me. He's a pussy ass bitch. Ooh. And because I didn't realize the first time I didn't realize this. The second time was um, this like this past Saturday, um, I was working with my friend Haley and um, we were in like the big dining room where they eat doing an activity. And 
uh, one of the residents was like sliding off his chair. Like it just happens sometimes. Like they start sleeping and then they just like let their body go. Um, and we needed someone. <laughs> we're not. We're not certified to like they fucking slide off the fucking chair, bitch, like a fucking <laughs> slipping slide. Fucking right, like fucking jellyfish. <laughs> but um, fucking. What ended up happening was we needed someone. We're not certified to like hoist them up in their chair. So we we had to get someone. So <gasps> there's a rule where, where we can't. There has to be one activity aid or one like CNA or whatever in the room with a whole bunch of residents because if something happens, someone needs to be able to report it. Um, so me and Haley couldn't leave. Um, so one of us went, got the got the uh, physical therapist. They were like, "I'll be I'll be there in a second. So we both came back. Tell me why the dude comes and he was like, "Oh, the food truck is up." We were like, "Okay, we saw it. It passed us." Like Haley was like, "Thank you," because it's like, "What do you mean?" Like. Uh, it's not our job to pass out the food trucks. It's the CNAs. We just help when they need it. Oh. So he came, he like walked all his, he walked his ass all the way down the long ass hall to tell us to like, oh, like come like pass out the food. It's like, sir, like you don't know our job descriptions. The resident it's gets the same like bald, same bald dude. Okay. The, uh, the resident gets hoisted up. Right. And now me and Haley can start bringing all the residents back. And then we start passing out the trucks. One of the CNAs comes to tell me that, um, like the the son told the nurse, like the head nurse, uh, Dan's just down there talking, not passing out trays. Like, can somebody go get him? I'm like, what? Jesus. And then I literally, I heard that, and I was like, I beelined it to where he was, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yo, like, do we have a problem? And bro, when I yo, he be coming up to all these I, old people, when I like, tell you, what the fuck is the man, issue? Ver, like, I'm gonna try and do it as best as possible. I'm where he was. Like Jay's like the mom and I'm like over there. Right. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm shouting across the room and he like jumps up and he's like, he's like, he's like, he like runs over like this. He's like, he's like waving <laughs> me like, oh, like, like to calm down a little bit. And then he like sort of uh, hovers over me and like tries to walk me out of the, 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 like the day room. What and I'm like, oh, like I explained to him, like a resident was potentially going to fall. Like we needed someone to hoist him up. Like, also, it's none of your business. Like, we're going to pass out the trays whenever we can pass out the trays. It's not our job. And, like, here's the thing. There's a lot of cute little old people there. Love them all. Do you have a favorite? My favorite recently passed away, oh. unfortunately. Um, Were you sad? Yeah, but I was away, like, in California when it happened. So I couldn't really, like, process it. And but when I got back, back to, to work, work, I was like, damn, yeah. like, she's gone. How old was she? I think she just turned 98. Oh, wow. Good yeah. for yeah. her. The oldest one at our nursing home is like 106. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Working at a nursing home, like you realize like age is, I, I've never really believed this, but age is it honestly just, a number. Like yeah. some, pe some people act younger than <laughs> not, in, not in relationships. Fuck that. Like I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like. Don't be a victim. You're, Do you tell them that you're gay? <laughs> um, oh my god! You know, the first thing it's like, funny. Like, it, it, it's funny you bring that up. There's this one resident who she'll like um, always ask me like, "Oh, like, do you have a girlfriend?" And, and I'll always just be like, "Oh, like, no, I'm focusing on college. Like, you know, I'm not really thinking about. Uh, I just, I just want to graduate and like get a job type shit, like a good job." Mm -hmm. And today, well, for, mind you, I've been working here for six years. Today was the first time she was like, "Are you gay?" <laughs> and and, and oh, I have to go to the bathroom and I look at myself and I'm like, is there something different? Like this but is the like, first time. Why she's do, I, the do I look gay? Am, I'm like, am I gay? <laughs> am I gay? Like what what about me today look gayer? I was I didn't dress. But like what'd this you for say life. when she asked? I was like, no. Why don't you say really? That? Why not? I it's just less because there it's like one person knows something, everybody knows something. Oh, they gossip. So, Would you want to be put in a home if you were old? Fuck hell no. Home. Yeah. And I would never do that to my parents. Absolutely. They've already asked me not to. I want to be wealthy so they can put me in a, one of them bougie ass ones that are like resorts. That'd be a vibe. Or maybe not. I lied. I think after a certain age, like, just shoot me. Like, I'm not trying to. <laughs> oh no, I'm being for real. Like, it's like, no, I, I mean, yeah. I'm not What's trying to be. Euth euthanasia? Yeah, something? like, I, I, I flip flop from wanting to be a burden to wanting to just like. And like just stop. I was about to say end it. Euthanasia. Huh? Yeah, but Euthanasia. there's some countries where you can actually like you can you if you're with consent like. Um, but yeah, you can legally kill yourself. So like, I 
I'm sure they it's not just like, oh, I'm sad, I don't wanna kill myself. No. You you would have to like if you have like a cancer, cancer and mm. like you're terminally ill, like you have the option mm. to take they'll give you like a lethal like dose. injection or something. There's actually a movie. I think it's actually pills. Huh? There's a movie oh. called And, they just and I could to... be wrong. It's called Paddleton. Paddleton. Oh, I've like, heard of that. Isn't it the bear? No, no, Paddington. no. It's called it's called Paddle Paddle Paddleton. It's about these like two guys. They're like they're they're friends, and <gasps> one of them gets like sick. I think one of them gets cancer, and then he does de- he like he decides to buy oh, like the the pills to like where is it? Kill himself. It's on what Netflix. is it on? It's on Netflix. Ooh, it's yeah. an episode of Criminal Minds. Guys, have you seen that movie? I think it's on Netflix or Hulu. It's like these two friends. It's a black guy and this white guy, and. The white guy tries, like, it starts off with, like, him trying to commit suicide. And, like, it wasn't successful. And, like, his friend, his best friend, they ended up talking. And they, like, planned together, both of them, to kill themselves. And then they, like, had the day. Tell, they had, like, 24 hours to do the last things that they wanted. And then at the very end, the black guy... He, he actually ends up finding out that like his girlfriend, his current girlfriend was pregnant. So now he was, he was starting to change his mind and he ended up changing his mind about killing himself. And then the, but then the white guy like still ends up doing it. It's crazy. You guys should still oh. What's it called? Should definitely see it. Great question. I'm going to have to look that up. That's a free that Google well, again, you are edged by something that you will never know. <laughs> Unless you follow us on socials and we can like, when Madeline figures I- it out, I'll post it on our story. Green room pod underscore five. But no, yeah, I feel like after you have to feed me from a tube and I can't recognize people who I used to love, like, put me Shoot out. Me. Like, nope. why that's, would you want to be alive for that? That scares me sometimes, though, because I know my grandfather had, um, my grandfather had dementia. Mine too. And, well, mine had Alzheimer's, but. And Alzheimer's, actually. He had both. <gasps> oh, my God, twins. And I remember, like, he, I mean, he could barely talk and he could like i'm pretty sure he he still thought he was like in dr oh <laughs> so, wow and okay. but, I'm gonna be a hard coño. but it makes me wonder though like if i mean that stuff i'm pretty sure is like genetic right like you, yeah that, that stuff yeah. is passed down i don't know it, it it's like a it, i think it's like one of the thoughts like sad thoughts i have sometimes where i'm like like you think I, you're gonna get it not me bro i, I mean yeah maybe at some point but like I like my mom. Mm. Uh, I was like, that yeah. breaks her. I'm like, wow, oh, man. Because she's such a bubbly person, mm-hmm. right? And so the thought of like being older and then like that, getting like, going her away. like not remembering, I think I write that. I die at that moment. I'm going to tell my mom Damn. to like write it out for me. Like, hey, if like for her, if she ever gets dementia, kill her. What? Just for me. Wait, huh? Wait what? I'm saying like, I want to <laughs> ask my mom if she could like write it out. Like, hey, if oh. I ever get dementia, kill me. Like for her. Because I, I can't deal with like, my mom like losing her brain and like, <laughs> bitch you're, you're like, gonna do it for you not her <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't deal with that eyes. sign the fucking contract bitch <laughs> I'll do it for us I'll do it for That's us sick. I mean like crazy. if you think about it like she her life started with me and it'll end with me like her life started with because like she was no one like my, like women are nothing before giving because, birth like right. women are just here to provide for just birth giver birth yeah birth sponge. givers like honestly like y'all gotta get to work finding Jeez. you guys a cute little husband bye yeah you don't think so madeline yes you don't think women like just should be popping out babies and then like fill that womb up walk and then walk <laughs> to a tomb what? <laughs> After you give birth, walk to a tomb. Tomb. And just lay there and die. Oh my God. And then the cycle begins yourself. once again. You know your nails fall out when you're pregnant? What the fuck? Your like, teeth can rot out. The entire thing? like Yeah. Your nails can fall off. Your hair falls out. Your body just deteriorates because it's just literally like every single type of nutrient is going to the baby. That's why they make you take vitamins well, and all that, that shit. Happen to but it's a possibility. It's oh, a really high chance. Do y'all so, think like so. the first person to be pregnant, like... Huh? Went crazy. Like the first person that like was pregnant. Do you think they were like, "What the?" They were like, "What the fuck is going on?" They're like, "Oh my god, I'm fucking dying. Like I'm throwing up. Like fuck." And then, bro, when that shit started coming out, like, what do you think was going through their head? Well, I think the, the that whole process. I mean, it animals. I don't think you see animals going crazy. True. You, know? so you think it's just like, like an instant? Like, I think it's just. I think it's always, but yeah. 
Mm-hmm. At least for humans. For well, they're for animals. I mean, you don't see them going crazy about like that. Nah, I've definitely seen videos of like um like cows screaming while they're giving birth. I mean, yeah, it's painful. Because they're in pain. It is. Painful. No, yeah, they're, but like, is uh-huh. huh? Because they're in pain. Yeah. Um, you I know mean, what's yeah. like such an evolutionary like L for for us is just like fucking animals give birth and like the babies can like walk and run within like a couple hours mm-hmm. and then for us it's just like baby horses. our brains are soft and like you have to put a helmet on us or some shit or whatever <laughs> <laughs> like just reshape our head i don't know i wish my mom put a fucking helmet on me bitch did your head you misshape it? my head shape is so weird i don't know don't look too hard y'all <laughs> That's the thing. It's so adorable to. I mean, it's sad because you know that's they're fucked up. But like to see babies in them little helmets while their head is shit going back to thing is fucking cute. Going back to normal. Yeah. It's like braces, but for a head. Yeah, literally. But like, I don't know. I'm just like I always think about that where it's like, what did how did like how did someone look at a cow and was like, I want to squeeze that and see what comes out of it. Like, do they piss? Do they Curiosity. bleed? Like. Bro, curiosity really got to stop. Squeeze the what? Squeeze the teeth. Like to milk a thing. Um, okay. The the teeth. Yeah. That's what the I mean. Everyone, say. The they, people knew milk came out of it because when they gave birth to their calves, the calves. Oh, were that's true. See, I don't think that deep about it. I'm. Just, I just think humans are are like they look at a cow and we're like, what the fuck does that do? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> that makes more sense. They're like, oh, the cow's drinking from it. Let me see if I can drink from it. Mm. I don't know. We should not be drinking milk, y'all. I'm so sorry. This is a PSA. That shit is pumped full of fucking growth hormones. Like, so bad for you. Get calcium from something else. Like, still going to eat cereal, though. Um, (laughs) Do as I say, not as I do. Please and thank you. Almond milk just tastes watery, nigga. I hate almond yeah, milk. Yeah, I don't like it. Tastes like I don't warm. taste no, watery. Like, I'm a whole milk girl. Not. Yeah, like People I don't always say, oh, fucks. once you go care. almond milk, you never go back to whole milk. That's a lie. No. That's a lie. You know what they're That shit looks watery. It looks great. Yeah, no. That video, was it? DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Oh, Rick Ross and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's it? I, I forgot what he says. Fuck. I like lost brain cells. <laughs> listening to them talk about it. <laughs> DJ Khaled. I don't know if you can say it. The almond of the, like the almond of the milk. I don't know what he said. Rick, I don't know. Now y'all trying to conspiracy. No, 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 no. The, 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 and it's the question. Is it from the almond of the walnut? Is they squeezing it out of the peanut? I don't have that answer. And I usually have every answer. Rick Ross confuses me. Oop. Rick Ross is not a real person. <laughs> like, you know, I thought... I that nigga know. got healthy and he got weird. To all my creatives out there, do y'all struggle with, like, all of summer having no ideas and then the second you start gaining, like, responsibilities like school or work, your brain is like, oh, you should do this or you should do that or you should do this or, or whatever, like, and then you have no time because... The next day you got class or whatever it may be. Like I was sitting where Madeline was and I was like, damn, like I want to think of ideas. This was like a couple of days ago. And you know what happened? I thought of ideas. But you know what else happened? I got so mad because I'm like, it is August. I saw the TikTok you posted. 28th? 27th. 27th? I think. It is August 27th. And you saw the TikTok I posted? About that. It's annoying. Like, I'm annoyed because it's like I can't do a lot of the things that I'm thinking about Mm because, like, some of the photos even depend on, like, it being summer. So I'm just like, oh, I have to wait. I have to wait or rush the idea, which never turns out good. So I'm just like, yeah. What about y'all, like, as creatives? What do you guys think? Oh, I still have, like, a creative block. I think I've had a creative block for the past two years. Yeah, yeah, it's the summer, spring doesn't matter. I think I've, I don't we, know, I don't know. We what definitely it is. established that you are just depressed all four seasons. <laughs> well, it's uh, I think it's beyond that though. I no, think I it's know. like creatively. I think it's uh, like it's easy to like hype yourself up and tell you and like be you like, know, oh, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna focus like my time on just like doing like making more like making more stuff like i don't know it doesn't ever really 
sometimes it works out like that, but then it doesn't. And then th that's another thing. Like you're just caught up with all the responsibilities mm -hmm. that you have that you just can't. It's hard to like put yourself in that, in that mindset of like, okay, I got, I can like do this. And it's so funny because when I was in high school, I made the stupidest shit, but I still made it. Yeah. And I think it's like, it's funny because I, I thinking of like thinking about it now, I did have time at that time. Like I did have time during that, that period of my life, even if it seemed like at the time, like I didn't. But I did because I was making more stuff at that, like, you know, when I was that age. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I used to be pretty bad at, like, being like, oh, I have this idea and then actually getting it into, like, the physical. Um, but I saw this, like, quote or some shit on TikTok that was like, oh, like, ideas are sort of, like shared if that makes sense like a lot of people can have the same idea at the same time and it's a it's about like who not shares it first but like who actually does it um, who does it better yeah like i think david bowie would say like oh he would think of like a tune or a song and he would like record it immediately because he was like who knows like maybe michael jackson could release it tomorrow you know what i mean it's just like like all that stuff and i think that's been pretty motivational to just be like okay i have this idea it's not super fleshed out there's going to be complications it might not turn out how i see it in my head but honestly most of the time they do because like one thing about me bitch is i make shit work there's a guy on tiktok mm -hmm. who he's he's like he has these like little series of like videos like cinematography heavy cinematography and like it looks really cool and i'm like looking at it and i'm like fuck like this is what i should have been doing like this is what i wanted I to do I this hate is what that. i wanted to do like why can't why didn't i like think of this when i like you know what uh, sucks a little more when you see someone who's like who's definitely talented because i feel like it anyone who can be creative is like has a little bit of talent but like i've been seeing people who i'm just like bro what are you making but then they have like a following and they have like you know they're like gaining money and i'm just like what am i doing wrong yeah no bullshit should i sell my body on the internet would y'all <laughs> aren't you already thinking about OnlyFans? selling your like selling toe pics uh yeah i i was thinking of selling feet pics for sure but i think that's a saturated market right now there's just a lot of people yeah. not a lot of people who like feet a lot of people who are selling. But you got a little pills. audience on Instagram, so I feel like you make it some yeah, buyers. Some news, yeah. <laughs> With my feet? Yes. If you had an OF. I'm sure you could you could fuck around and pluck your leg hair and sell that shit. And pluck be some, my leg hair? There'll be some weirdo selling out there. Selling my leg hair for 20 cents a hair. 20 cents. My I saw this up. video of some girl. She farts in a bag. Farts mm -hmm. in a bag. Or she and, and she'll like there's options of like her farting through like flower petals and then she'll sprinkle the petals in there pause money i she makes money off of this. would sell my i would sell my body if i knew it wouldn't mess up my like future potential careers that i would want to have like i <laughs> wish i didn't have a whole bunch of tattoos because like i could even even like my thing is, is even my room is a little bit like identifiable like the fucking like green like if you follow me on instagram and you find this random person with like a fucking green carpet and like a purple couch you're gonna be like oh that's familiar i would do it Motherfucker, like i feel like you'd eat irene we're getting to the point i feel in society where it's just like sex work needs to become common True. and normalized because True. at the end of the day everybody benefits from it one sex way or another it's still fucked up it's a dark ass industry and there's yeah. a lot of um shit that comes with it but it's like you know what i mean like everybody I, I just i don't like like I, so when i was at work today i overheard someone talking about how they were fighting with their husband because he she caught him watching porn and then she felt like like he was cheating on her do y'all think that no i feel i don't no, know like crazy. i feel like that's fucking stupid it's like 
Like even if you're married to a person, you're still gonna want to. Yeah, like do you do bitches not use their imagination? Time. Like do you not rent? Like just because you love a person, that doesn't mean like you can't go off and fantasize about your like celebrity crush or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Like does one. that count as cheating and shit? I I feel like. I don't know. People get real hot and heavy about this topic. I feel like it's not cheating because it's like, unless you're directly like camming and stuff, like people consider camming as like porn as well. Cause you're just, but like you're actively interacting with somebody. I don't know. I feel like that is cheating. But if you're watching videos and just like masturbating, you're fine. Like yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's like, you're not doing, I mean, like you're not seeking out these <clears throat> like, interactions with these like porn actors or anything you're just watching it yeah so it's just weird could you date somebody who does sex work no No? i mean no yeah that's my thing is like i respect it i feel like like we said earlier sex work should be normalized as like a job and people make good money from it but i'm too i like monogamy that's fair so what now? What? You guys know um, Azalea Banks that that clip where she's like, <laughs> like the guys are trying to imply oh, that she yeah. makes music for the gays, and she's yeah. like, her fucking fuck ass Bob is like. <laughs> she, the, she, wait, she the one who about the Lizzo. Lizzo. She must be. She I must, hate you, fat Lizzo. She must be like <laughs> what. <laughs> I was. I thought of her. I immediately. fucking hate you, girl. I, I thought of her <laughs> not immediately, but like I had. To, I thought about that that clip mm. when you showed me it. When all this stuff about Lizzo started coming out, because then like I was I like, she must, Lizzo. she must be like, I hate you for coming. I hate you for coming out with that floss up your fucking fat ass. Oh my God. <laughs> she must just be like, Yo, she. like she must just. She must. She must feel Azalea is celebrating right now she yeah, must be like so hallelujah like, bitch like this bitch is going to come to find out lizzo wasn't even like they were being dramatic apparently and like Ooh. they were it wasn't yeah, even lizzo it was some random for like it's it was another real? person no well it's like lizzo has something to do with it but like lizzo wasn't the person to blame it was like someone else on the team but because it's lizzo's name attached to it they just kept throwing her shit out there yeah and i hate so, you fat lizzo yeah <laughs> i fucking hate you girl um but with um my fat phobia out of the way i would like to conclude this episode by singing you a little song oh shit Ooh, jet do you want to say something actually actually his words will be the final words jet say something like and subscribe <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and make sure to rate it if you're listening to this on spotify follow us on our social media which would be linked down below or i finally remembered what our at is it's it's green room pod underscore five so yes. go follow that um yeah we'll be back with another episode on friday we changed the schedule to friday yeah Ooh. bye, bye. bye.